Hi, my name's Mark Richards, and I'm making this video today because I want to try and prevent other small businesses from making the same mistakes that I have when setting up accounting and bookkeeping software and moving away from paper-based bookkeeping into more uh, commercial accounting software. And I want to show you a specific problem which I've found with one piece of software in particular, but I think it might be common to many of the accounting softwares that people um, find that they're, they're using. Okay, so the main softwares around are in the UK, um, where I'm based, is Sage, QuickBooks, Quicken, uh, Microsoft Office Accounting Express 2009 or Professional, which is what I'd like to focus on today. I like the software. I've got a few problems with setting it up. And it's these particular problems of wasted um, days, um, possibly a week of my time. And I want to try and stop other people from making the same problem. Okay. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want my accountant to have a better overview of my business and my finances so that he can help assist me with making better decisions okay and I would recommend that uh, any uh, decision that's based around accounting and bookkeeping software is done in conjunction with your accountant and with uh, a lot of insight and questions asked before you make that decision and training videos preferably as well if you can get hold of them okay what I want to show you today is a problem with invoicing and setting up your invoices for, let's say, your past six months or something like that. If you're halfway through um, a financial year and you're moving to an accounting system. Okay, so I'm going to bring up my accounts here. This is in Microsoft Office Accounting Express 2009, the UK version. So if it looks slightly um, odd to any Americans watching this, then it's a different version from the ones that you'll be used to. Um, what I want to show you is I've got, I've been entering invoices and I've made a mistake um, and I've added 449, invoice 449, it should have been invoice 450. Okay, so what I've done is I then saved it as 450 after I'd saved it as 449, that was fine. That went through fine. But when I'm now trying to add a um, an invoice, 449, okay, and I'm going to add um, just some data here. Okay, and I'm going to try and save that as invoice 449. And I get this error message. Now it's telling me that the number on the invoice 449 is already used. The number has been changed to 552. Well, actually, I don't really want it to go to 552. Um, what I want to happen is to re. I want. I don't want to save this as 552. I want to change that number to something that's more relevant. So I'm going to click OK. And what's happened is it's actually saved it as 552 here. Um, and saved it and therefore created an, in, an, an invoice number 552. Um, now, I'm not very happy about that. Now, um, I, I can delete it, but then I can't create another invoice called number 552. And that's going to be um, that's going to be a problem in the long term with this because I might already have had, if I'm adding um, invoices in sequential order, might already have a 552 that I need to add but it won't let me do anything now it's all set in stone and I think there should be more warnings about this for people who are first starting to use the software because I'm now going to have to enter all the data again from scratch to delete the entire MySQL database and it looks like create a new company um, within the software effectively to sort this out and then re-enter all the invoices which I can't even export um, to then re-import. So this is a bit of a problem. There should be some kind of master key where I can unlock it. And I'd like that to happen if possible with future.